Hello, and welcome back to Zarnista Studios. I have been a Star Wars fan since 1977 when my mom took me to see the original motion picture. I have had the toys pretty much since 1978 when they first came out. I usually stick with the original trilogy. Those are my favorites. But when my friends started talking about The Mandalorian and they were excited about it, I decided to see what all the excitement was about. It was the first Star Wars thing that really felt like a Star Wars thing. And one of my favorite characters was, and is, Cara Dune. But in the finale of season two, something magical happened. Two of my favorite characters finally came together. Luke came aboard and saved the Mandalorian and Cara Dune in the game. Just like a lot of you, I got pretty freaking emotional and immediately I wanted a figure. After seeing only one Kenobi's figure hacks, I decided to see what was in my budget, what I had in my collection and give it a try myself. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and take a look at a screenshot from that scene and see what his costume was. From the looks of it, it's definitely a black cape. He's definitely wearing his Jedi outfit from early in The Return of the Jedi in Jabba's palace with the tunic. But more importantly, it what's prominent is that silver belt buckle. So let's see what we can do to put all those pieces together. The good news is for Jedi Luke and the belt buckle, it actually came in the Black Series 3.75 Jedi Luke, but the head's a little off. So for the correct head in 2020, the Vintage Collection released the Endor Luke or technically Endor Capture Luke. And that hair is pretty close to what's in the Mandalorian scene. And now what we need is the black cape. So I looked around to see what was available for figures I could afford and their crazy prices. While on eBay, I found this guy, Action Joe 77. And his cape was pretty much what I was looking for. It's a little more than I wanted to spend, but it did have the wire so you could do really cool poses. And for final details, what we need is flat black spray paint for the glove hand. We need a chrome pen for the belt and of course, we need nail polish remover because with the Jedi Luke Black Series, he has a little dirt on his shoes, on his boots, and we want to, we want to remove those because they were clean in the Mandalorian. As you can see, both figures are great. And honestly, the Black Series head, which people aren't too thrilled about, isn't that bad. And if you wanted to just use that and maybe paint the hair because it's going to be under a hood anyway, that would work too. Step one, let's start by swapping the heads. They both use the same ball joint, so just pop them off and put them back on. Now for the glove, there's two ways you could address this. You could actually hand paint it. You could actually take the, do a hand swap from the Endor Luke. What I did was I actually taped off his arm, separated it so it's just his hand, covered up everything else, and spray painted the hand. Let it dry for 24 hours, and it looks just like a glove. Now with the chrome pen, it really doesn't matter what size you get. What I did was put a little dab onto a little piece of cardboard, took a small paintbrush and just painted the belt buckle. Now I use the Maltov chrome pen, which means you really need to let it dry for about two to three weeks for the best result because it gets a little tacky and you can get a thumbprint. It's a really slow drying product, but if you wait, the results are really worth it. What you might not notice is on Jedi Luke's boots is a little brown paint. It looks fantastic for Jedi Luke, but for this version, we need to remove that. And what we're gonna do is just with a Q-tip or cotton bud, is just dab it into the nail polish and slowly, softly, just dab at it and remove it. It'll come off and it'll make it nice and black and polished. And wow, not too bad. We're almost there. All we need to do is add the cape. And voila, there he is, in all his glory, the man we missed, Jedi Luke, as seen in The Mandalorian, season two, the finale, next to Cara Dune, two of my favorite characters. Hasbro, Lucasfilm, and Disney, if you're listening, for the love of God, please keep making Cara Dune. I'm a diorama guy. I still need two or three more of Cara Dune. Plus, if you make Jedi Luke, I'm gonna buy him anyway. So it's money in the bank. Do it, you have the parts. You don't have to, make anything new and now 
For the rest of you guys, I say give it a shot. I don't know if they're going to make Jedi Luke. God knows with Kathleen Kennedy at the helm. She hates the guy. But us, we love him. He's respected. He's loved. He is the core of Star Wars. He's the heart. And now, with a little work, you could have one too. Our websites, creators, and things mentioned today will be listed in the links below. So thank you for stopping by and happy collecting. We'll see you soon.